Reuben walked down the empty corridors of the Imperial Vessel Falling Star. You fools. You and your crew will damn us all. His fears guided him as he let his mind create their insults. But whatever they would speak, he would still try to convince them to change course. Every second he was not on the bridge was a death sentence. Once again, the past lingered near reality. I'll take Recaf. And some groks, if they haven't eaten at all. Ah, some groks would be nice. End of shift, take it to quarters and sleep after. Gentlemen, if you're done, I must speak to the Commodore. We are not, because the Commodore thought you might come by again. And what seems to have been his problem is now ours. Peace, Reuben. Please. It's all I want. I am doing what I can for everyone aboard this vessel. Now, let me pass. I'll be honest, Reuben. We were told not to let you in at all. You're starting to bring whatever dreams or- We'll damn you. Or- or whatever you feel it is, it's affecting the astropaths. They're beginning to have nightmares. Our shift is nearly done, Reuben. Please, peace. And if there is some groks... The planet is real. I have warned the Commodore in good faith that he should heed my account. But now I see how my words are taken. You don't understand. We merely skirted the outer ring of the system, and we could hear it. At first, our astropath said it was a psychic call for help. Seemed to be on our route. But the closer we got, the worse the astropaths became. They described broken land of constant warp fire. An overwhelming smell of burnt flesh and a symbol that turns any who look upon it into bloodlust-fueled rage. Soon, the entire vessel could hear and smell what they described. What? What? That's insane. It's not possible. It literally is unable to happen. It should not, but it did. Our captain took similar action as your Commodore. She ignored the wild stories of the Astropath, and now they're... I thought the Commodore said to keep this man off the bridge. Y yes sir, we were- I do not care for what was or what was not. I want immediate action now. Sir, I beg you, we must tell the Commodore. Tell him what, precisely? Let me open your eyes. We picked up two distress signals, one being you and another this planet. Well, that alone is enough to warrant action. But then you begin spewing nonsense about the planet being on fire and how your vessel was lured into damnation. All the while, you miraculously get in an escape pod while the crew goes mad. <laughs> I never heard such folly. Now I've had enough of your fables and myths. I've a bridge to command. You mock me with your feeble thoughts. But even you cannot ignore what is reality. You've breathed in that stench. You've heard their cries. No, you do not mock me. You're afraid of their suffering. You two, I do not want this man here again. Once your shifts are done, you two are to watch him until we make planet fall. But sir, I... You hear them now, don't you? 
They said it was just echoes from the psychus. It will pass. No, it won't. This is how it starts. It will fade. We've been through this before. No, it's not. <clears throat> Tell them to change course. Ruben, you need to ignore it. Don't follow the corpse god. What? Kill. Blood. Maim. Burn. It. Blood. Kill. Has. Maim. Blood. 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 Blood